17. Yeah. It's going to be wild. Cool. So, uh, and yeah, these sync calls, I don't even know how we keep them to an hour. So there's so much going on. Uh, speaking of which, we might as well just get this party started. I'm sure many people will join. Uh, YGG, do you have this baby recording? Yeah, it's rolling. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Zeptimus. Are you are you recording too? Look at that, double trouble. Uh, that's awesome. So today's today's going to be a fun uh, entry point. It's it's just going to be a, a praise game. So the question of the day is: dish your favorite praise. So uh, we're uh, this is your moment to think about the people who have done some good work in the T Commons. And ideally, you haven't praised them already on uh, in the in the in the actual room if you have the praise powers. Uh, so think about people who haven't been praised already that you know of, and send them some gratitude. Uh, so I'm going to start with Sam because he's just been killing it, uh, and he got this whole Rink of e deployment ready for a live demo today, and like major praise to this man, I don't know where he found the time to sleep to pull this off and overcome the major barriers that we had with XDI. Uh, I'll pass it to Jess. Oh, hey. Um, wow. I, I want to praise Shebnam because you just constantly inspire me. I don't know how you do it all. I messaged you last night and she's like, I'm up till 4 a.m. still working over here has a child a partner doing fit just doing like the most badass cool art project i've ever seen and i'm just like constantly amazed i want to praise so many people i want to praise everybody in this call but i want to give a shout out to shep and all the people okay i'm gonna pass to craig Craig, you're muted. I'll give him a second. Uh, let's pass it to Zeptimus. Hello. Uh, I would also like to praise Sam because he introduced me to here and I'm learning a lot and I'm so grateful for that. It's, it's been amazing. Like every one of you are, are really amazing guys. And I'll pass to uh, Soul Sister. So first of all, it's been almost a month and I still have two two more weeks where I cannot really, really participate. But uh, so that's why I praise all of the tech team <laughs> and look forward to what you, what you have been doing. Maybe I have uh, Fabian because I don't know if you, if you know him already, but he's literally bringing uh, what you were missing all along, this ethical and, and um, ethical reasoning to actual decision making where that we can start from first. So, and I'm giving it over to Andrew. No? I don't see Let Andrew. Maybe. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, today I wanna praise Santi because I feel like he's taking on so much. He accepted to be a community steward. He onboarded uh, Rosa today after our onboarding call. Uh, he said he would jump with me in this manifesto that we want to create and just like always high vibes and saying yes for everything. I really appreciate that. And I'll pass to uh, Juan. Thanks, Lydia. Um, I would like to uh, praise uh, you because um, I feel that you are doing a very good job, like keeping this community uh, together, uh, uh, inviting everyone to the talks and uh, uh, onboarding people. So uh, I would like to recognize that. And I'll pass to um, who, who's missing to Fabian. Uh, hey guys, I can just say, you know, it's been an absolute pleasure across the board with everyone that I've interacted with. It, it, it's been really, really an amazing 
start for me to get to know you. Uh, and for me, to, uh, my appreciation and praise re really above belief really goes to Shabnam. And this has been unbelievable. Like you, you, you've, you've blown my mind. You've put so much together and you know, like you heard it before about her managing a lot of stuff, but I've been working with her closely until late at night. And then I get the next message, like three hours later, it's like, when do you even sleep? Like, I really don't get it. How you can, like, you, you really amaze, amaze me. And, and I really, yeah, I, I, I can't thank you enough. You've been amazing. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and I'll pass it to YGG. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Griff. And uh, I got to give praise to Griff uh, for all the warm welcoming that he's given me since I've been involved here. He's constantly sending me resources. I don't know how he has so much energy. <laughs> and he's constantly sort of opening doors and pointing me in directions that I can help out and contribute. And he is this sort of shining spirit of the community. So I want to say thanks, Griff. Praise. And uh, I think Sam just joined in here. So I'll pass it over to Sam. Yeah, Sam, we're praising people. So you can just praise to someone. It's difficult to uh, just choose one. <laughs> I, OK, yeah, I'm going to go with the easy one. Uh, I praise Grip for um, helping me. Uh, uh, yesterday I was like, what should I be doing? Because I have a lot of in my plate and I cannot focus. And he called me and said, hey man, how are you doing? Oh Grip, I have that problem. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. We, we don't have time. We don't, we, don't, we don't have time. And together we said, we, we decided that the best thing is to um, work with a testing DAO on Rinkeby instead of XDAI. And this is what I can show it to you. Uh, I can show to you today. So thank you, Griff, for the call yesterday and let me focus on, on something. <laughs> that was super cool, man. And I'll pass it can... for you because uh, okay. you, you came in a little late. How about Jess? Yeah. I went already, and sorry, I was navigating oh, no. some on my mobile. <laughs> That's OK. Pass it to who hasn't gone yet. Why, How about Craig? Uh... Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 Woohoo. Um, sorry. Distance learning requires like six streaming devices at once. Um, dishing praise to, oh, well, Sam just joined, so I get the honor of dishing him some praise. Um, watching from a close distance. It looks uh, just spectacular what's happening on the back end. So thanks. Uh, Dulce, uh, you joined. We're dishing praise. You know, feel free to dish praise to someone who's not on the call, you know. Uh... Oh, Dulce, are you there? No? Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, good, um, good. I, I want to praise Vivi and Jessica uh, for helping Michael, uh, Jonas, and Ellie uh, with, the, with the questions for the onboarding for our project in the TFM control verse one. Nice. Thank you uh, for the praise. And let's pass it to Michael Linton, who just joined. Michael, are you? Uh... Down to unmute and dish some praise. Maybe that works. Am I there? Yeah. Something there. Um, well, praise to all. Let's cook. Let's see what's up, eh? Sounds good. I'll pass mm -hmm. it to Ethan. Ethan, do you have any praise to dish? Uh, yeah. Praise to you, Chris, for inviting me here. I'm not sure what I'm here for, but <laughs> it's just an awesome praise of people making uh, democratic stuff. People, uh, yeah, good listen. Nice. Yeah, I kind of threw you two in the fire because you, you don't know what we're really doing here. So um, how about Rosa? Uh, you got any praise to dish, Rosa? Here. <laughs> 
Rosa just joined today. I don't even know if she knows what we're doing here. No, <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> None of us really do. Yeah, we're, we're all just making it up. I, I think that I think that is everyone though. Is there? Did I miss anyone? Okay, so the oh, notes. Oh, Santi, you didn't go. I didn't go. I oh, want to praise Juan Carlos for all the work he's been doing in the in the onboarding group with all the documents he's been sending and all the information he's been putting together for us. Yeah, seriously, there's a lot of praise that's that's going around. And if you guys want to dish praise uh, in our Telegram channel, it is a little bit of work. I'm not going to lie; it's hard to find everyone's Telegram names and make that praise happen, but. It is how we end up re uh, acknowledging and rewarding all the work that's being put in here. So it's a, it's an important part of our of our uh, process. So if you want to take on some praise powers, message me and uh, I'll help you onboard into that. Uh, but today we have some really big news. We have a lot to go over. Uh, the notes are in the uh, general channel. Livy uh, was a gem and shared them with everybody. I would suggest that you open them up. Uh, it will help a lot. And as usual, uh, if I can get my screen share to work. Like... Oh, and just everyone talking about praise, please put your handles in the top of the page so we can praise you. I started to put some names, but it's probably not your real handle so if you can add that that's awesome yeah sadly we're, we're using discord here and a telegram bot for praise so it gets a little challenging um, but yeah hey watch uh, watch the live stream and we're going to go through these notes really quick the first uh, thing to go over is just where we are in the process. So uh, this project has been going on for months uh, since July. Uh, we have settled on some initial mission, vision, and values and really structured how we work together. And we spent a couple months really settling in on, into that. And now work has been going on for almost a month. Uh, we, are, we have broken up into four, almost five working groups. Now the tech spec working group, the soft governance working group, the comms working group, who the, the initial three working groups that are in full swing now and making real progress. Uh, we have the onboarding working group, which just started up and soon we're gonna have the legal working group. So uh, if any of those working groups interest you, feel free to message Olivia or, or I about uh, how we can onboard you or really Jess or Santi or, or almost uh, anyone here can help you onboard. Uh, next steps, uh, this week we're gonna give updates on the working groups and share some blockers. And next week we're actually gonna have a rehash of our vision, mission and values because there's been such an influx of people here. We wanna make sure that everyone's aligned and that we have a chance to modify them uh, as we grow. The other, uh, and then from there, we're just going to start launching. You know, uh, we have the technical launch and the cultural launches are all coming together. So uh, we will uh, iterate on those protocols uh, so that we can actually have the real launch in December. So it's it's going to be very exciting. Uh, we're going to uh, put an exclamation mark on 2020 and uh, turn it around, huh? So. Uh, that's that's where we are going, uh, and the purpose of this call is not to really discuss proposals or brainstorm improvements. It's uh, really just to show off work at this point because there's so much going on, and we want to give people a chance to uh, show the work that's happening. And also, if anybody is blocked in something or uh, there's a potential for helping out, this is a great call for you to ask for help and uh, find some. So I'm gonna just kick it off really quick with the tech spec working group. Uh, you can see here the manifesto uh, that explains what we're doing. And uh, we have a tech spec working notes document where we kind of keep track of the work that needs to be done. Uh, this might move to GitHub, but uh, we'll see where that goes. We also have the work in progress tech spec uh, which is having an overhaul because of a last minute change to Rinkeby. So if you're interested in working on that, it's a, it's a major opportunity to have direct impact on our main goal. And major shout out to Dahi, who has been uh, 
uh, pushing that forward mostly on his own with just a little bit of my help. Um, we, we generally communicate in the OneHive TE Commons bridge channel. So you can find that in both the OneHive channel and the token engineering channel. Uh, it's bridged together. But the, I need to give most of my time to Sem because Sem is actually going to take this on and show us a live demo of the Rinka B launch. So Sam, are you ready to take it away? Yeah. The idea is to show what the what a DAO with a bonding curve and conviction voting will look like. This is something that we were working on one hive um, during the the last year, and I deployed it with the um, I, de I deployed it in Rinkeby with the parameters of that we were selecting in in the tech spec. So what we have is a DAO that have conviction voting, a bonding curve, uh, redemptions tokens, and, and a voting application. And this is the DAO that we can, you, you can go right now uh, and, and, and um, go through all the processes. The, the first process is, is the hatch, in which the people who donate at, at the beginning uh, can buy tokens at a very low price. Well, we, we, I am going to open the pre-sale right now, and during this week, you will be able to um, use test tokens in order to buy test, um, test tech tokens and, and help us um, help us with the testing and also helping you learning uh, what is what is this about i am going to do today uh, a quick demo on what is everything but i'm also going to open right now the the pre-sale which we it's a hatch instead uh, i i know that grief doesn't like the the word pre-sale in me neither but this is the the front end that, that, that we have and in the last, in the most updated content, it, it will be much different. We are we are go, we are going to go through a hatch of that is requesting three hundred dice, well test dice, and and we have one week in order to reach that amount. If not, the tokens will be given out to the people who who funded it. And if, just a, a, a quick note, Sam, you have about seven minutes okay. left. Let's open. It. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Let's open the hatch. So right now, if you ask Grief during this this week, please do it sooner than, than later. Uh, he can give you T-Dye so you can contribute and have mm -hmm. test tokens, test TC tokens. And yeah, as long as... Just make sure Craig has your address. Uh, um, Craig ha has been cat hurting everyone to make sure that we have everyone's address. If Craig has your address, then you will get T die. Okay, this is the DAO that I, I am going to be um, doing the, the demo today. It is the same one that the one that I just opened. So we have six days left to to hatch it. But if we reach that amount. Uh, the sale, the, the hatch is complete. So um, the first who enters, so every, everybody who enters will buy at the same price. For example, if you put here 10 dice, you will obtain um, 100,000 tokens. TEC. Let's, I, I am going to buy everything just to make the the demo, but ideally, it is going to be any people who is going to be um, buying and buying until we reach the the goal here. Let's see if th this worked. It takes some time. It's much faster on XDAI. 
Ya. Yeah. <laughs> And we are in Ringery. Uh, Griff was praying to the god of tests uh, and demos. Did, did you do it, Griff, before the call or not? Oh, yeah. I broke a pencil, sacrificing an eraser. <laughs> how, how, is it uh, how is it done? To, to pray to the demo gods, yeah. you have to like you have to some sacrifice the ability to undo. So like erasers, chalkboard erasers, some kind of uh, at least this is the, the the sacrifice they demand. Oh no. Okay, also an, another important thing is that as you can see, there is an an uh, a moment in which you have that funds there, like okay, we, we reached 300 of 300, the the hatch goal is complete, and now the tokens that we receive from that, they they are vested. We will have some weeks in which we cannot sell them back to the bonding curve. Now, when we open trading we open the bonding curve. So in that first moment, what we did is to initialize the bonding curve and now the market is open for people to buy and sell the tokens. They cannot be transferred but between people, but they can be minted and burned by that bonding curve in exchange of T die in that case, and it's going to be die or X die in the case of the real TC. So now we have that, and we have the tokens here. That, that does every one half. Well, it, it what we did is to multiply the impact hours by a scale factor. So, for example, I, I guess that. Um, you you might recognize your 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 addresses here. Uh, this is the TC test tokens that you have just by being priced in the TC. And now that the bonding curve is open, we can do also new orders. Well, let's see if it works. Three minute warning. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, it has already some tokens. Most of them are, are vested. And now new people can buy new tokens, but in a, uh, in a very different price. Right now, if I use 10 dice, I only obtain mm, 14,000 test tokens. I can buy it and, and we see how it. Wait a sec. These things sometimes take a, a time, some, some, some time. Or a refresh. Yeah, the Rinkeby test network takes 15, 30 seconds, 15 seconds uh, at the minimum, really, to uh, from clicking the transaction to updating, sometimes up to a minute. Whereas on XDI, it's like five seconds to 20 seconds. Let's see if I can show that this part at least. So this is the part where Sim is actually buying into the bonding curve post hatch, converting die into um, transferable, well, um, minting, mintable or burnable um, TEC test tokens. So the test tokens he got in the hatch are vested, but these tokens are actually they can be speculated on. It doesn't seem to work right now. It was working uh, before the the demo. Uh, I can That's finish, okay. I, I, I can finish the um, 
the demo with a uh, showing up the conviction voting. This is the these are the test tokens that we have. Quite a while, <laughs> one million <laughs> of TSC tokens, and I can use them in order to vote on conviction voting. So in the funding pool, we have already uh, one one hundred dice because at the hatch moment we split it the tokens between the bonding curve and the funding pool for conviction voting. So 100 dice, we have it, we, we have them here. We can create a pool proposal requesting an amount of, I don't know, maybe we can request 30 dice and we can choose any, any address here, for example, this one. Sent it. We should also first write a, a, a good proposal in the forum, and so people can read about about what we are proposing before voting. Why is it going so? Okay, it should. So up now, okay. We have that cool proposal. We have no link, but it's okay. And I'm going to support now that proposal with, let's say, half of my of my test tokens. See what it happens. In conviction voting, what you have is that depending on how much time you are um, you are supporting something, your conviction grows and grows and grows. This is what we are going to see in, in that graph right now. Your conviction is going to grow and grow and grow until there is a point in which it doesn't grow anymore. But we only need to surpass that threshold in order to get the proposal passed. So it is with the support that I'm giving, which is the half of, of the tokens that I have, it will pass in two hours and 16 minutes because it is going to be, it, it, it's just what it's going to need. And, and then I will be able to get that 30 die to do the proposal I, I was, I was um, presenting to the community. That's the, yep. the idea. Uh, depend Amazing, Sam. Depending on, on how much I, I am requesting, that threshold is going to be more or less. For 30 die with the current funding pool, which is 100 die, the threshold is 6%. But I am going to have half of the conviction because I voted with half of the total tokens. So it is going to increase and increase until we reach that 6% and the proposal will be able to pass. I think that it's a lot of, of, of different things. We, we have gone through the hatch, the bonding curve and conviction voting in just 10, 12 minutes. But I think that it's better to see it now and you have the possibility to, to test it with the test tokens that Grip will have and I will have to, so you can ask him or me, and yeah. and hatch it together, and then the bonding curve. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have the hatch. We're we're going. We're running through the real test. Uh, if you guys want to play, which I hope you do, because it'll be a really good learning experience as well as a help us beta test this whole thing. Uh, you can, uh, if you have already applied for the trusted seed and we know uh, with the common stack and we know you that you've received praise and stuff like that, then we probably have your address. Uh, but just double check with Craig if you're not sure. Craig is going to be the, he's been collecting addresses for a week, so he's probably better than me to make sure that we have your address. And I'm going to spam everyone some free money so you can buy into this thing and play around. Um, that being said, that's more than that's too much time on the tech spec. So I'm going to pass yeah, it I'm to Livia for the, that. Yeah, go ahead. J just one one last thing. It is a um, it is a, an outdated um, interface and software. 
the TC will have a, another a, a better front end for that and everything will be different. It's it has some errors too, but it's just something that you can use to to test. Okay. Go, go on. Yeah. I I am I'm done. No worries. No, it's an important th point. This is this is like the roughest, ugliest thing you're gonna play with, and it's gonna get way better from here. That's that's the point. But Livia, you want to take it away on the on the cultural protocols that are really also an, a huge part of this of this community. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have a Tuesday meeting every every Tuesday at seven p.m. CET on Discord. You can all join. I think this next week is going to be the last one, but we'll uh, talk more about that. And uh, you can see the mural board in the in the documents, and also our working group manifesto. I think we are pretty up to speed with what we were um, aiming to to do. And um, so yeah, the actions that we have going are the conflict resolution practice that Juan is leading and it's looking amazing. It had um, a lot of progress. We, we went from, from something more abstract to a very concrete plan for the TEC. So I recommend you all um, enter this document and give updates and reach out to Juan and come to the working group because this is a big part of uh, soft governance and it's tackling on three of Austrian principles, so it's very important for us. And then the onboarding experiment that Angela proposed, um, we've been having this Q&A sessions and we've, we've been planning to have a token engineering Q&A and not a token engineering comments. And we've been having some uh, scheduling problems with that, but hopefully next week we'll have a Q&A around that end. There is a place in the doc that you should write what type of Q&A would you like to see happening? Because maybe we are not the best people to know <laughs> what people that are joining or people that are part of the community want to hear about. So that would be great if we have some feedback here. And then I'll share uh, my screen really quick to the board. To show more or less what we've been doing, and it's so much data that we collected here, and now it's mostly a process of organizing all this data, and and also feeding this board the the Austrian principles that it's really important for us to be aligned with uh, with these principles for governing the commons, and we have um, all of them almost uh, in a good shape. And there is a lot still to be worked on here. And one of them is um, creating a manifesto that was an idea from Senti to have a manifesto constitution for new members so they can agree uh, with our soft governance uh, lead and participate in the commons being conscious of what is being expected from them. So this is an action item that we're, work, we're gonna work on this week. And then the last step from this, I wanted to propose to the tech spec team for us to have some type of automation for how can we make uh, some of these agreements merge with hard governance and what can we automate, what can we not, um, how to make it easy, easier for this uh, smooth transition between where we are now and the lunch. And then um, the last part is, uh, research I did on accountability and also there is a lot of answers people put in here um, and, and from governing the commons and Ostrom's perspective that leads that leads um, to the belief that accountability accountability relies mostly on having a clear purpose on having trust among participants and having a sense of belonging. So here in this board, we have a session for rituals for trust 
So please come here, uh, put down some rituals that you would enjoy doing, that you think you would enhance the trust in the community. And last call, uh, next call, we can start with one of them and start experimenting more with uh, having more cultural practices that are rooted in our community. And, uh, and yeah, uh, last thing that we decided in our uh, community steward call is to have a GitHub to gather all the issues from all the working groups. So we have one single source of truth to understand everything that's happening. And Griff created this GitHub and now we need to populate with all the issues. So if you want to help on that, also reach out, please. And that's it. And I'll pass to back to Griff or to Jess for comms. Yeah. Uh, just anyone who wants to help with SoftGov, this is where really where the t token engineering commons, I think, is a uh, thought leader in the space of making sure that we have cultural protocols that align with our technical protocols. Uh, so uh, Livia is leading this group, and it's huge. Uh, if you want to be a part of it, make sure to reach out to her, and there's no shortage of action items. So we can, uh, we can, put, you, we can put you to work, and you can start earning impact hours ASAP. Speaking of no shortage of to-do lists, Jess, you want to tell us all the stuff that's going on in comms? <laughs> Thanks, Griff. Great segue. Uh, hello, everybody. I am representing the crew who is working really hard, some of which aren't even here because they're working so hard. Um, for the com communications working group, we meet on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Uh, PST, 6 p.m. CET. So we'd love you to join us because we need help to keep up uh, because the tech spec and the soft gov are working so hard and moving so fast, especially tech spec. We're trying to keep up with them while we basically build the foundations. Um, the good news is we have a lot of hands on deck who are supporting. So, um, oh, the first thing I want to note that hasn't come up. Um, so currently we have been each working group kind of doing our own thing, but it came up obviously better if we can all align on one board or one uh, kind of task and project management tool. Um, we've pretty much decided on GitHub. So we have the GitHub set up and over the next week, we'll all the comms, soft gov, tech, all the working groups are gonna be putting all the stuff on GitHub. So it's even easier um, soon for you to have a look at what's happening across the board transparently and see if there's anything that lights you up that you want to jump in on we of course always welcome um, the support so soon we'll have that the github is up and it's there but we are going to be building out um, the repositories for our task management and as far as comms goes um, main things right now are setting up all the channels the discord is up we now have to make it organized and set up the channels on it but it's functioning uh, the medium is up the GitHub is up, like I said, um, even Humberto, thanks to Humberto, he started with a LinkedIn for us already. Um, the website is also in progress. Manu went ahead and threw up like a WordPress. We've got like a template. So now we have to go in with Marco, um, our main designer, and we pretty much wrote all the content. So we've got to go in. Um, they're going to work this weekend, Marco and Manu, on pushing that forward. Um, and yeah, the big thing that got completed was the branding and the logo. We haven't officially released yet, although it is officially on GitHub. Um, if you haven't seen already, I'll make a small posting to show those off. Uh, Marco did a fantastic job mm -hmm. translating and integrating all of the feedback that we received. And I appreciate everybody who um, helped with that process. And I tried to integrate everybody's feedback. So I hope that you're going to be happy with it. I think it's pretty rad. One of the colors is actually, we realized similar to Radical Exchange. So there's a lot of interesting ties. Um, and I think it's got a pretty rad memetics. You can see there in the document. It's kind of for me, like we don't mess around. We, we get stuff done and we're solid, but we also are playful. And I think it has a bit of a superhero vibe. Um, and it looks similar enough um, to token engineering so that we are you know showing that we're aligned with them um, today I'm going to work on setting up the YouTube since thank you Zeptimus and the OBS team who has been recording all the calls so soon we'll have the platform set up um, to do that and then yeah 
eventually we'll maybe get into the forums reddit bitcoin talk if anybody's like super into reddit and wants to raise their hand for that i would love you forever because reddit's never <laughs> really been my bag um but i know it's super important for us uh so yeah and then the other things happening every two weeks we uh, uh livy and griff have been shouldering the 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 main burdens of the praise quantification so how we turn the praise uh into a formula to get you the tech tokens happens uh this friday so i'll, I'll let griff mention that um before we wrap but um we do mm -hmm. a bi-weekly kind of blog and update with what's happening in the community and also to show the leaderboard of praise so everybody you can see visibly like how much you're earning with your contributions so that will be coming out next week the praise quantification meetings friday so i'll probably crank out the blog by monday or tuesday um, so that everybody can see where they're at um, and know that they're you know we appreciate the contributions and that they're getting rewarded uh, blair did set up the twitter now that we have the logo and such we're gonna go in there but you can actually follow at tech mns not anything there right now, but today, tomorrow, Blair and I are doing a work session. So we'll soon be having a lot more to share on social. And let's see. Oh, the map of contributions. Uh, I thought Livy would mention that. Um, just want everybody to go and fill out on Airtable if you haven't already um, where you're at in the world. That's actually a soft gov initiative. But I wanted to mention it in case that fell through because there's a lot going on. Other than that, um, yeah, Craig is working on making sure that all of you are good to go for the test hatch. So make sure for that. Otherwise, um, looking ahead a bit, we are, I know for, for CADCAD and a few other communities, we're looking at doing kind of the same thing at some of the options to go permissionless with bots and all this like fancy uh, slick um, ways to onboard because right now it is very manual right now Craig has to come and like you know check all the addresses but we're hoping to look at how we can automate that and make it easier for you and uh, less energy to have to like track that manually so we're looking at some of those options um, going forward and yeah calls to action I guess or things requests um, if I could ask graciously um, if you would like to join the praise quantification meeting this friday that is open you can see how that process happens right now it's human um, we may in the future have source cred or some other you know options for rewards that's up to the community to vote on um, but for now it's we go through the spreadsheet every week every two weeks uh, or griffin livy have been and um, yeah so you are open uh, openly invited to that and then the second thing we're working on a Miro board and I would share screen except for uh, I'm not at my laptop right now um, the link and the password are there we're, we're looking at the narratives and this is actually a really important process that um, we'll be giving more I'm attention sharing to. It. thank you so much we're going to be giving more attention to this the the main urgency was like getting our you know, logo and, and the platform set up. So um, next week, we're going to be moving towards working more on this together in the next comms meeting. If you're interested in meta narratives and um, what what kind of people we would like to attract to our community, how do we want to share our story with them? Um, would love, love, love you to join the comms meeting next Tuesday. Or if you don't have time, you can jump into this mural board anytime. And uh, Manu has set up a very cool um, kind of questions very clearly where you can go in as you have five minutes and have a look and give some input. We're gathering a lot of data there that we can then crunch and figure out how to build the best narratives um, for our community. And then, yeah, lastly, if you want to follow the Twitter or join the comms working group, that's all from comms. And again, thank you to everyone who has been supporting in this process and please help us keep up and also just in general if you know uh comms is is going to be a challenge because we are building a lot of this as we go and a lot of it is dependent upon community vote so please do reach out and say hey i really wish you would you know um have communications about this or tell us about this and also i 
feedback from me is also I see that we do probably talk a lot at you and I think perhaps we need some more um, Q and A's like even, you know, to have Shem uh, there like uh, 10 minutes, I'm sure you all have so many questions and even I have a bunch of questions. So please um, always open for feedback if you feel we can be listening more and talking less. Absolutely, absolutely Grifter. good points. Yeah, so praise quantification meeting tomorrow is at five, well, time zone, oh yeah, time zones are still cool this week. So 5 p.m. Uh, Central Europe time, uh, 8 a.m. West Coast time, uh, and I think this time we'll just do it in a Discord, right, Livia? Does that sound good? So you'll be able to just, yeah, you'll be able to just roll in if you want to see the how the sausage is made. Uh, come on in and check it out. Uh, onboarding working group. Who's who's gonna take on the presentation? There's a meme with our sausage meme coming. <laughs> I'll give a brief intro and then I'll pass to Ducey. Um, so, uh, so the onboarding working group has been working on uh, a pretty cool uh, mirror board as well. Also, share quickly my oh, my little link. Oh, Dulce, you have some background noise. If you can wait to unmute until uh, she passes, thanks. And I'm sharing too, Livia, if you want. Oh, you do you have the stakeholder uh, mirror board? Yeah, I, I think so. Oh, okay, cool, great. Yeah, so so they've been having a lot of progress in there, and the onboarding working group is happening in parallel with uh, the TE Academy. Um, values and and um stock and value flows uh course so yeah they've been mapping the whole uh stakeholders in our ecosystem understanding how to reach out to them and um the the latest work is they're setting up stakeholder interviews so there is two steps that action is required now that we look into this document on stakeholder interviews and give feedback to the questions and type of stakeholders they are um, delimitating. And the second step is uh, for us to start collaborating all together on a stakeholder list of uh, for the interviews, because we all know different people that would be great to be part of, um, that, that we would love to hear from. So that's the next step of the interviews and I'll pass to Dulce so she can talk a little bit more about the process that they've been having to map the stakeholders and also how these interviews are going to be handled. Yeah. Uh, hello. Um, the, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, my team and I we are working for the TE Academy in um, and interviews for design the crypto economics and to create stories. Mm -hmm. And the feedback that we received received from from Livy and Angela was to start with broad questions. It's very similar as the word that Jessica is doing with onboarding, but for now we want to start with a simple questions, but very broad, why, what, how. Uh, and we really need your feedback in these five, six questions. Um, the idea is go to the very broad, and then we may iterate in a second wave mm -hmm. to get more information. Uh, I'm going to share this link in the channel that you let me know what is the channel to, to share this link, and you can uh, write uh, in a comment or just below here. Um, uh, the idea is um, to keep positive kind of in, in what is, keep positive and understand what is a pe what people like, love, expect, or what to get from TE Commons. And we need feedback before today, or whatever is your time, so I'm, I think it's gonna be okay. 
And we are going to send this in a G form. And in the G form, we are going to set up a Calendly. And if you want to be interviewing a recorder, uh, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one interview to be recorded. And we are going to have this spreadsheet database with all the information. And in the same time, we are going to uh, have all this interview. This is the process. and. All your feedback is really, really appreciated. And also, we are going to have like office hours at um, 3 p.m. CEST. Uh, and we are going to be in Jitsi in case you want to talk with us or, or whatever you, we are going to be there every single day, like for an hour. This is basically what we are working on, and we really need feedback. Sounds great. I might recommend you move to Discord so you get that little bump on random people stumbling in. Uh, but this is this is awesome. Thank you, Dulce, for coming in so strong on the onboarding working group. I can't believe how much you guys have put together already. This this uh, TE Academy is is huge. Uh, yeah. yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I, are there, it looks like we have eight minutes, which is awesome. Uh, are there any quick blockers or questions that anyone has uh, about what's going on? I want some caviar instead of a sausage sandwich. <laughs> that sounds classy. Uh, cool. Well, then let's just try to close it out and give everyone a chance to, to talk. Uh, thank you guys for the great call. It's amazing so much to see. It's just so amazing to see how much work gets done every week and how much progress. Everything's moving so fast. We're really swarming, and it's really cool to see. I'll pass it to uh, Santi. Well, I want to thank everyone, especially the tech team, for having that uh, piece of software ready for us to start throwing our money in there. <laughs> and see how everything works that we can and uh, hopefully give you all the feedback so you guys can improve whatever breaks down. And I'll, I'll pass it to uh, uh, Livia. Yeah, thank everybody so much. Special, special thanks to everyone that is uh, in the forefront of the working groups and that are like bringing so much action together. Uh, the people that are stepping up taking actions this is really beautiful to see i'm very grateful and i'll pass to see i think that was to dulce yeah to dulce. sorry I, I i didn't listen oh um, thank you everyone it's it's amazing um, being part of this group and and i really like to learn from you you guys and it's amazing all the work that you already did thank you and i'm gonna pass to soul sister okay so um again like i was out for three or four weeks and it's amazing to see the the pace and the the volume and amazing uh yeah keep it together you're great <laughs> Cool. Okay, who do I pass it on to? Sam. Uh, I also agree. Uh, it's super cool to see all the pieces um, working together too. I mean, how the different working groups are interacting and, and doing the things that the other the other groups need. And um, I don't know. Uh, I am going to pass it to Septimus. Yeah, thank you so much for the for the call. That was amazing. Uh, and I really would like to learn more about the T Academy. I, I think they are doing really amazing work, and I really look forward to to learn more about that group. So I I gonna I should uh, contact Uther, right? In uh, yeah, it's not <laughs> like I'm talking. Uh, yeah, uh, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say now. I'll just pass to Jessica. 
Thanks, Optimus. I will actually would like to pass to Michael Linton. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Totally my pleasure. It's great to see so much uh, action and uh, movement. Um, it's all about the rubber hitting the road and, um, and some momentum and making making use of it. So I'm delighted to see the process. Um, carry on. I'm watching. Thank you. I pass that on to um, Jeff. Awesome. Jeff here. I am. Um, yeah, great to see the progress as usual. Um, I've been chatting with a lot of uh, other groups who are all really excited to see and hear about progress in the TEC. For um, uh, group discussions with uh, uh, the Economic Space Agency and uh, some of the working groups we've been doing with uh, Adam Arvidsson, Michelle Ballins, and uh, you know, bringing them up to speed on everything going on in the in the token engineering world. And I mean, we already have uh, Fabian here working uh, and lending all of his uh, expertise and background. So yeah, as usual, always impressed with this crew and uh, really excited to see how things continue to progress. And I will pass it to Craig. Have you gone yet? Or maybe Sean Anderson, if he's here. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Um, yeah, nice to see you in here. Uh, I was just wondering, can someone confirm Craig's tag here on Discord so that I can send my address? Is uh... Yeah, it's AWM fund or something close to that. AMW, okay, right. I think. AMW, That's what I expected. You. Okay, awesome. Thanks, guys. And then the other point I wanted to bring up is uh, I was wondering kind of what the coordination point is for developers. Um, Sam, that's awesome what you were showing off. And I would love to do a sort of collaborative working session with you on some of this stuff. Um, I'm just now tracking your progress here on GitHub, and I'd love to get more involved with that. So um, yeah, any sort of, uh, I'm not sure what exactly the, the central coordination point is for, other than the tech spec itself, um, if there's sort of working sessions on more of a, a technical level, that's something I would be really interested in. And then anything happening across the board on GitHub, uh, I kind of live in GitHub, so I'm really comfortable in that space. Um, Let's coordinate through the channel at TechSpec, and from there we, we see. I guess that we will be doing some more meetings, but th this will be the, the point to, to contact. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. It's the, it's the TEB One Hive channel in Discord, is the TechSpec oh, area. Okay. okay, good to know. And, I'll, I'll pass it for you really quick to Fabi. Hey, everyone. Um, sorry for the late joining. Uh, first of all, uh, I wanted to introduce myself. I, I'm, I'm Fabian. Uh, I joined the community, I think, a week ago, uh, referred by one of the guys from uh, One Hive. Um, uh, yeah, I wanted to thanks to Grief and, and Sam because uh, of the, board, the onboarding that they gave to me. Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, Sam uh, for the for the helping on the on the technical side. Uh, I'm continue trying to to put myself aligned to the uh, to the community. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I'm delighted because, uh, about the cooperation that you have in the community. So yeah, it's uh, awesome to to be here. Um, I will pass to. Uh, Santi JS. I think I gave it to Santi first. I already, I already did. I know fate hasn't gone. Hey, uh, yeah, I mean, it, so, so, so much movement. It's really amazing to see this. Um, uh, per personally, I'm still getting, getting kind of the hang of so many different things. Um, there's a lot that's new to me. So I'm probably not aware of many things where you guys have like recorded, you know, intro sessions and things like that. So if you feel that, you know, there's some basic stuff that I should be aware of, don't hesitate to send it to me and then I can work through them. And otherwise just like, yeah, it's just a pleasure with you all. Really great. Uh, I'll pass it to Juan. 
Oh, sorry. Okay. I saw you mute, so I just went in there. Perfect. Juan? Perfect. Well, no, thanks to everybody. And I can't wait to start working on the legal uh, working group. I'm very excited of, of what we can do in that. And thanks to everybody. Okay, I'll pass it to David HQ. Nice to see you here, David. Hey, uh, what's up? I, I joined late, so I don't know what's the question. Uh, what was discussed? I have to check. Just closing thoughts. Uh, is, is this in, in Discord? Is, is it uh, recorded also or no? Not. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Find the... yeah, we recorded. Uh, Actually, Zeptimus, Zeptimus and YGG are our heroes here, recording all of our calls. <laughs> With redundancy. Okay, then I'll watch this one. I, I wanted to uh, follow again in this next week's more in this area. So thanks. Cool. I'll pass it for you. I'll pass it to Zeptimus. Mm -hmm. Or did you go already? Uh, yeah, um, I already I, go. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Who do we have left? Oh, Craig still didn't go, right? Craig, Craig sometimes has these, has these internet issues. But uh, I think that's everyone, right? Well, that's good because we're two minutes over. So thank you all for joining and uh, have a great week. And if you need anything, feel free to DM me, Livia, Jess, Craig, Angela, uh, or Santi. We are your community stewards and we are here to help. So and the uh, test, message in And the test hatch is open. So please ask me or Griff the, some tokens in order to buy in the, the hat. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll go to Disperse app and send everyone tokens right now whose addresses I have. So, bye, guys.